Recent documents leaked from Pentagon has sent shock waves in Washington and CIA. Now let's look at what all things got leaked. UK, a nation which doesn't share a border with Ukraine or even Europe for the matter. The small island nation has sent more than 50 military officials. A country called Latvia, which has less than 2 million population, has sent 17 special forces out of 97. Even Netherlands has, has sent few special force personnel. This gives an indication of the kind of countries which are being pulled into this conflict. In fact, one CI official has said on record that he feels sick, sick to his stomach. The most embarrassing one includes the fact that US has been spying on Zelensky and his officials. The leak also mentions that there are certain vulnerabilities in Ukrainian air defense and they are facing severe shortage of arms supply despite getting billions of dollars from US. That's strange. The leak also throws some embarrassing facts about US so-called allies. It mentions how Egypt is, was planning to supply 40,000 rockets and ammunition to Russia. It shows, so it also mentions how South Korea was hesitant to send ammunition to Ukraine. It also mentions that how Russian intelligence agencies are bragging about their relations with UAE. In fact, one shocking information is that CIA actually suspects Mossad's hand in the current Israel protests, which are trying to dethrone Benjamin Netanyahu. They also touch upon North Korea. They say that North Korea is overplaying on its ICBM activities, which I think most of us will agree with. John Kirby, the spokesperson for National Security Council of US, has said that we don't know, we truly don't know if the threat to national security has been contained. So this is serious for United States. These documents are appearing to be pictures taken of hard copies. The documents are labeled as no phone, which means that these documents were not supposed to be revealed to foreign agencies. So these were purely US internal documents. One more interesting thing leaked out. Uh, it mentions that Russia is incentivizing its soldiers by paying them bonus for every tank destroyed. It also mentions the Wagner Group, the private army from Russia, is expanding its operations beyond Russia. It's extremely active in Africa. It mentions certain projects that Wagner Group is working on in Africa. And these efforts are directly undermining US efforts. So it's not just Ukraine. Wagner Group is having its impact in Africa as well. Meanwhile, these leaks have alerted Russia. Vladimir Putin few days back banned a lot of his officials from flying outside of Russia. I don't know whether these two incidents are connected, but certainly there is suspicion that probably Russian administration has already realized these things. One of the most important leak, according to me, is the fact that Ukrainian equipment will be reduced severely by May 23rd. This is very shocking because United States has been supplying billions of dollars almost every week since the start of this conflict. After getting all this money, if Ukrainian equipment is getting exhausted in the month of May. The question to ask is that where is all this money going? This might have a decisive impact on the conflict because once the air defense ammunition runs out in Ukraine, Russia can then start using its fighter jets, which it has not yet started using extensively even after more than a year of this conflict. By, while by and large the leaks were about Russia, there are some key leaks from China as well. According to CIA, the hypersonic glide vehicle which China tested in February this year has a high probability of penetrating American air defense systems. Yes, CIA believes that China has the technology to surpass United States air defense systems. These hypersonic glide vehicles travel at five times the speed of sound and they maneuver while they do so. Hence, they are almost impossible to defend using air defense system with the existing US technology. This would be very worrying for Washington. It also mentions that if Ukraine starts hitting targets within Russia, 
which are of strategic value china will escalate the kind of weapons it will supply to russia because then china would see proper nato and us involvement in this war and being a regional power china will be obligated to support russia in bigger ways it also highlights that the chinese are trying to build a deep water port in nicaragua and they are negotiating for a military base over there it also highlights how jordan's foreign ministry in february was trying to placate beijing after beijing complained that its 5g companies were not being allowed to roll out inside jordan so clearly a lot of smaller com- countries are uh, trying to balance the west and china when intelligence documents of the world's strongest country leaks it kinds of puts a question mark on how secure is information with other countries it highlights the fissures between us allies it also highlights the mistrust that united states has with some of its allies it mentions the vulnerabilities of ukraine defense forces it points out at how countries which have nothing to do with ukraine are actually sending troops on ground biden administration is looking at humongous consequences for this leak now after these leaks most of their allies would think twice before sharing their intelligence with united states this degree signing off from this video do like this video and subscribe to my channel i'll keep posting more videos stay tuned